Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. Today we'll be talking something very important. And it's about a video that I came across about a black woman getting her hair done locks, right? So I think a white man stitched the video and he wants to know why, I mean, her hair is being locked that way. And mind you, that same man has locks on, right? And a lot of people are asking him, why do you have to start asking or start telling a black woman how to make her hair and what to use and what not to use and all that? And how did I find that? I would think, uh, okay, now sincerely speaking, I do not have any say or I cannot recommend any hair for a white person white because I have not lived that experience. I don't know what her hair or the hair texture is like. So I cannot recommend hair product or recommend um, how to, how she makes her hair and all of that, right? So the same way, I am also expecting her not to tell me like, or tell me the best products because like, you know, she doesn't understand my hair type or hair texture and all of that. So for him to come out, and start saying why does she have to do that hair her hair like that i mean caused a lot of people to start asking questions and why he is uh i mean like you know being a black woman's business let's get into this video all right so <laughs> this might break a bunch of people's hearts it's so ironic how certain type of groups decide to do something that we do and when we did it it was barbaric it was inhumane, it was low class, it was a poor taste to society. And when they do it, they have the nerve to tell us about our technique and method. When our technique and method was done from centuries, okay, before and after Christ, we had done that. But when we did that, that was immortal and that was defying and that defies the whole entire synthetic, the whole entire ethnicity of being a human, okay? To this day, people look down at Rastafarians. To this day, a young boy, well, actually a young man, because he's not a boy, a young man who lives right here as a native in this country of the United States of America in Texas, and many other children who, who are Black from their DNA, have worn this type of method because it was something not as a trend, but part of his culture, his expression, because his ancestors were denied the fact to, to have this type of hairstyle. This was a type of hairstyle that it was not corporal friendly. And then when we see people that's outside of our culture and they say that we don't have a culture, okay, which we do, they wearing this and it's acceptable. They can go to any corporation, they can own a business, they can do go to school, and they'll tell them, oh, you don't have to take off your locks. But a young man that's living in the residence of Texas, who tends to a high school, they're treating him like he's a prisoner and using him as an experiment to put him into a place of delinquency. And who knows, this young man probably be a straight A student he probably be a student that's an average. He could be a student that is an athlete. He's a student that deals with technology, deals with all kinds of modern things, and he wants to interact with his peers and not be a, a menace society because that's how society mislabel him because the fact that he went to school and he had locks in his hair. You know how many times they told kids they will be disqualified if their locks is not cut off? if the beads are not cut off. And then when I'm seeing people that's not in our culture is wearing it and trying to tell us how to do our culture. How, and we've been doing it for many, many years. We invented it. We, we had the patent and we still do. So like I said, if you, like I said, if you don't understand our culture and you turn around and take it to copy and paste, the reason why we do that is something, like I said, we need to stop giving the secret sauce to our recipes. 
and we need to stop inviting people to our homes and we need to stop inventing our culture for them to feel like they can take it over and tell us what we need to do okay when we've been doing it for years there is a method to every madness and every diffusion and this is one don't be provoked stay woke consistently so <laughs> this might break a bunch of people's hearts but this whole comb retwist thing where you're using the comb to retwist isn't even necessary you know white people like come on son like y'all y'all get way too comfortable y'all get this y'all just get way too comfortable for my liking sometimes in what realm do you think you have an opinion on that? That is how we lock our hair the appropriate way, the clean way. But most people like you do who have straight hair, you have to wait until your hair gets dirty enough to get matted. Get them crunch fingers out of here. The ends of your hair look like stretch cotton. Why are you having an opinion on that? Like worry about your own scalp, okay? Like, ew. Trust me when I say old locks are not built the same, sweetheart. <laughs> When it comes to locks, maintenance is important. You know, detoxifying the locks is important. Because why? Cleanliness. Okay. But why I'm even having this conversation with somebody who probably don't even use a washcloth? Isn't even necessary. You know, white people. So I'm going to say something that's probably going to get me flamed. And if you don't like it, leave a comment. If, like... Do leave a comment, don't leave a comment, keep scrolling, I just don't care. But at this point, white people having comments about braids and dreads, I, I just don't think it should be an issue anymore. What I stitch is a white guy's commentary on how black woman is, um, like, retwisting a dreadlock, and then followed by a black woman who, f who feels, because he's white, he shouldn't have any opinion, and his dreads are messed up, and he doesn't use a washcloth. Wash which, again, I feel is kind of racist because, again, if some white person was using stereotypes against a black person to discredit their opinion, there would be a problem. But, again, I guess it's funny when black TikTok does it. But, in my opinion, as long as black women are wearing blonde hair and then when they're told that that's not authentic, they like to show, like, Australian Aboriginal kids with blonde hair to be like, oh, see... See, in Australia, they do it, so I can do it. As long as we're buying hair that's usually from Asia or Brazil, or saying I can wear colored contacts because my grandfather had gray eyes, so I'm just doing me. As long as we're doing all these things that even though, yes, you could probably find in Sub-Saharan Africa, but it's not the norm, it's not the majority, I just don't think it's our place anymore to say anything about these white people with dreads and braids. I think, in my opinion, we need to let it go. If I get flamed for it, fine. But I will say, based off a of TikTok I have on a commentary about being natural and people telling me how ugly I am, again, I hope your opinion and point can stand on your argument and not just attacking people, just like the black woman I stitched who, like, automatically went to racist stereotypes about how he don't use a washcloth and that he's dirty again like if we we've seen white people make podcasts about how weird it is that black people use washcloths and and how that's a sign that we're poor or something like that so i mean i think just respectfully disagree this thing where you're using the comb to retwist isn't even necessary let me get this right you a paper person are going to tell us how to do something that is culturally appropriate to us. What's, what next? You going to have your sister come up here and tell us how to correctly input stitch braids? Or let me guess, your grandma going to teach us how to do bantu knives. Get the fuck out of our space, nigga. You made a whole video being loud and fucking wrong. Actually, there's more than one way that you can retweet. That is just one of them. Now, you're right. The comb is not necessarily on your hair. Because I ain't do shit but tangle up in the goddamn comb. <sighs> Stay on the paper side. You don't know shit about over here. Just a heads up. You have what we call matte locks. This is a Scandinavian thing. It's from y'all forefathers. What we have are locks. They stand up against gravity. You see? 
so this is all I got from this and uh, the truth is that I'm I don't know how to say this, but I mean, I can't say anything. There are some things I can't say about uh, a white person, especially like, you know, how they take care of their hair and uh, the texture of their hair or telling them the, the right, uh, maybe hair brand or the right way to like, you know, probably comb their hair because I do not have uh, enough information to talk on that, right? And I also would never want to talk on it because I have zero experience about it, right? He's a white person, no doubt, and he has locks, right? And because he has locks, I mean, our hair texture and the, his own texture, we don't have the same hair texture, right? And uh, he cannot know better about our hair texture and uh, how we do our hair and how we comb it or how we retwist or twist, whichever one. But I know that uh, he really does not have a lot to say about it or trying to question how, why is it even necessary? Why should, why do you have to use like, you know, comb to retwist your hair and all that? I mean, it is really very vital that you know how we retwist our hair and how it goes, right? So he came coming, he actually put his, he knew that what he said, I do not have any problem like, you know, with him or whatever, but he knew that uh, he is not in good position to ask what we are doing with our hair or how we are doing it or how we are retwisting it or why we are using like, you know, comb or something. He knew that he wasn't supposed to ask that question. So straight up, he put his video on private so the video is no more like he can't assess it aside from the people that were able to stitch his video I mean on time and all that so uh I don't know how how to do that but uh I think uh, I don't know if it's saying that they should not speak on logs or uh, braids or something but it's I don't think it's in their place you know to talk about how a black person's hair should be maintained or how a black person takes care of his or her hair or how like a lock i don't know but i think uh, i mean it's not uh, him he, he has i don't think he has any like you know right coming out to tell us or how we are supposed to retwist our hair and all that so yeah it doesn't make any sense and uh the black person that spoke I don't know where she's coming from, but I, I think she's already like, you know, because there is a video she made about black I mean, women that go, I don't know if it got her in problem or something, but black women actually came for her and all of that. And for that reason, she's um, being a little bit on course and all that, you know, but uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, I will be leaving some um, comments so you all see what people got to talk out, uh, got to like, you know, say about it. And also she actually said about black women trying to fix contact, contact lenses and trying to wear another person's hair or trying to straighten their hair and all that. <laughs> See you all in my next video. Bye for now.